Hi, I'm Governor Tom Wolf, and you're watching CITV. Welcome to CITV. We have a great show for you today, and I have some great stories for you. Coming up, we are rewinding into the past and getting some Disney highlights from Caitlin Turner. Thanks, Caitlin, for taking us through the view of the seniors' Disney trip. The Clown Players production of Legally Blonde was this past month, and we were able to talk with some of the cast members about their experience with it. Plymouth Whitemarsh High School's theater group, the Colonial Players, have re recently just finished their production of Legally Blonde, a story of sorority girl Elle Woods following her ex to Harvard Law School in hopes of winning him back. We sat down with the stars of the show. Caroline Borio and Colin Mash to talk about their experience. So my character, Elle, is um, just a really fun and confident person, but what I like most about her character was how she grows throughout the show and we get to follow her on her journey. So she starts out almost like a stereotypical sorority sister, but then throughout the show we get to see her develop into, into an intelligent um, lawyer and a good loyal friend, and I admire her for that. With a cast of approximately 35 students, they have worked vigorously over the past months to put on the stellar production that was finally presented to the public on March 7th, 8th, and 9th. First of all, Legally Blonde was a show on, is a show on my top three things, shows I want to do before I die, and the fact that the show was so amazing made it even more like amazing for me and for everyone because everyone just worked together so hard to create such a masterpiece and the reaction from the audience was so overwhelming. Everyone thinks there's so many people who I heard say this was the best show they've ever seen and to me I feel like we've done, all of us did our job and it just turned out to be an amazing show and I'm so proud of everyone in it. With wonderful sets and impeccable work by the crew, Legally Blonde feels almost larger than life. With so much hard work all around from everyone behind the scenes, you almost feel like you're not watching a high school production. We have a lot of people working on our show. We have, um, besides the cast, uh, a lot that goes behi on behind the scenes. So we have our backstage crew, our lighting crew, our sound crew, even um, a marketing team and a makeup and costume team. So we have a lot going on and every person is a really crucial element of the show and every different um, group of people is necessary for the show to happen. So we're really glad to have a lot of students and directors and parents to help put the show together. The cast and crew truly feels like a family. With teamwork and them all working together, they can truly say they put on an excellent production. To me, Colonial Players means, um, for me, a second home because that's a place where I feel comfortable in front of everyone and it doesn't matter your interest, it doesn't matter anything. Everyone is just, it's just unconditional love between everyone and it's a place where I can go and forget all the troubles of my life and just have fun and a blast and, and I get to do what I love and I think everyone else feels the same way so that's what that means to me. Thank you for coming to see Legally Blonde. Look out for next year's audition material if you're interested in joining the Colonial Players. Raising money for childhood cancer, here are some highlights of Minithon. We all believe in this cause, and we know how important it is for us to continue to support this cause. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being here right now.
After all the fundraising, PW raised $26,207.37. Sign up on PowerSchool for GSA on Tuesday, April 30th in uh, C34, Mr. Hackett's room. A licensed therapist who identifies as a trans man will be coming to talk about his experience within the trans community. Be on the lookout for future GSA meetings. Come to the LGI on Saturday, May 18th from 9 to 12 in the morning for the UNICEF Pancake Breakfast. Cost is $10 per adult and free for children, 12 years old or under. Center will now host free yoga sessions with a certified yoga instructor dropped after school every Wednesday from 2.34 to 3.34 or 1.30 on PLT days. This is all opened for all students and meet outside of the fitness center of B03. Next, we interview a former yearbook editor, Ashley Ryan, and look into what it is like to be part of the yearbook. No matter how much time passes by, the one thing that never changes is the hard work put into the creation of the yearbook. Each year, students from the publication class and yearbook club take the time to make sure the finished product is memorable for the rest of the school. This is our inside look of what goes behind each book. Being part of the yearbook makes me realize how much work is put into the yearbook and it's not just like throwing stuff together and as easy as I thought it was. So in the previous years when I realized like I wasn't in it as much, I realized why I wasn't in it as much because you can only cram so many photos into one page. Qualities you need is to be, you need to be mature, you need to be responsible to get the pages done, and you kind of need to have an artistic eye to be like, to know where you want everything on the page and you also need good time management. Yearbook requires a lot of responsibility. It's a school-wide activity with very few people working on it. However, what they do affects everyone at school. Because of the time and effort they put into it, Yearbook allows them to have end results they can be proud of. I learned that you have to be patient with people, but also if things aren't working your way, then you have to take accountability. Like a lot of people say, uh, things aren't done correctly unless you do it yourself, and that's kind of how things went with Yearbook. Your book immortalizes more than just the memories of the students from that school year. It is also full of the dedication and hard work from the staff. Now for the important question, how will the other students feel when they see the final product? It is amazing to see the hard work students put into the yearbook, in the yearbook club, and the publication class. Latin Club's second annual game of Sicarius began in the recent weeks. With a one dollar admission, Sicarius is a game of assassins where students are assigned a target and have to eliminate the target. But instead of death, your fear is a spooky star sticker that has to be stuck to your target's back without them noticing. Whoever comes out on top wins the pot of money. Um, yeah, I'm most definitely going to win the whole thing and take all the money. <laughs> As we've been following the story, we've come to a standstill in our very own classroom with media production student Colleen Wen having to eliminate her classmate, Lucas Soa. Uh, so my plan is basically just to send CJ in the first block and look around, you know, like in the control room, behind the curtains just to make sure that she's not there. And then in the hallway, just always look behind me uh, to make sure no one's there. Uh, and if she is there, to just not break any kind of eye contact because then she can't get me. So I first got to school really early. Like I tried to like get there like around seven. And then so um, I went into McWilliams room and then I sat at this chair at his old desk and it was like far from the door and I tried to like hide myself from Lucas but then CJ he had CJ walk in first and then CJ saw me and then told Lucas which was disappointing. Though the game has been fun it has occasionally affected their classwork and they are sometimes unnerved during school. So Colleen always makes me hold her phone and all her like water bottles and stuff in the hallway whenever she tries to get out a sticker, even though Lucas always walks really far ahead of her. So it's like, I don't know, she's just getting really worked up about it and it's really annoying and she needs to stop. It's just a game. Yeah, especially with Lucas, he's um he's like making me as if like I'm his pawn, like making me walk into the room first, being a scout and all that, so yeah. The game is planned to end on Rome's birthday, or maybe even sooner, if the champion is able to limit all their targets. I will eliminate Lucas. 
Good luck. Uh, I'm just going to keep being paranoid as I've been this entire game. Not let anybody sneak up on me. Oh, no. <laughs> this seems super fun. Look out for next year's game. To all PW students, the Library Media Center is open from Monday to Thursday, after school until 5 p.m., except on early dismissals or PLT days. After school buses are available every day at 4.15 and 5 o'clock, except on Mondays where only the 5 o'clock bus is available. Did you know that you could skip the deli line by pre-ordering your sandwich, wrap, or salad? Log into the Colonial School District student portal and find the lunch order form on the left menu. Pre-order your yearbook today. Go to Jostens.com and search Plymouth White Marsh to get started. Supplies are limited. They can sell out, so order today. Here's some foundation highlights from 2018. Stay tuned for any more information for Foundation Day 2019. We look forward to seeing you there. The old middle school is getting a renovation. Here's Raquel Baskin with the story. Colonial Middle School, built in 1968, has been standing for over 50 years. As years have passed, the district has decided that it's time for an improvement. In August, the school board came to a consensus and created a plan of action. There were multiple design options available featuring all different ideas. One idea was to add an addition onto the current building. The second option was to knock down the whole building and create a new one. Though design one was favorable by some, due to the lower cost and shorter timeline, it would mean that the students would have to learn through construction. Also, the outdated look of the building would still stand. It was put to a vote and decided that the second option would best fit the needs of the district. The new middle school will be built on the existing baseball and soccer fields. Once the construction is complete, the once outdated and old space will be turned into new sports fields. The people in the community are excited to see this new change. I can't wait to see the new middle school. Thanks, Raquel. Visit the Writing Center during all lunches and most bonus blocks. Whether you have no topic, a partial paper, or a full paper, the Writing Centers will be there to help. On May 3rd from 7 to 9 p.m., the Black Cultural Awareness Club is having their first annual fashion show, fashion show in the Plymouth White Marsh High School gym. Tickets are $5 and all are welcome. Attention all seniors, if you're interested, auditions for singing the national anthem at graduation will take place in room A2 after school on May 7th. See Mr. Cooper for any questions. Next up, we have three chase scenes from Mr. McWilliams' media production class. Hey, get back here! Everyone's in the lunchroom and the hallway's clear. What do we do? I think we should just make a break for it. 
Huh? I count down to one. We'll just make a break for it. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. What are you two doing? Run! Run! Are busted. 